Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I wanted to show you my process of a doing a painting from start to finish, including my sketch. So um, here in the video I just showed you um, just my preliminary sketch for a really quick painting that I wanted to do. Um, I usually just sketch with pen in my sketchbook and um, I do a really rough gesture just making sure that you can see um, the attitude of the character in her pose um, and then I move on to drawing it onto watercolor paper uh, again I'm using a Prismacolor very thin pencil in crimson they are my favorite pencils uh, and I'm just using some plain hot press watercolor paper from Canson um, I draw this part out pretty lightly except for the face and um, I guess the outline of the character. I don't I just sketch in the basic shape of the hair, but I don't really add any details in until um, until the end. All right, and then I'm going to start off with watercolors. Uh, I use an eye drop an eyedropper to add water to my watercolors because it's so much faster and cleaner to use. Um, and then I start with the skin tone, just putting down a really base layer of color um, over all the skin. And then I go in afterwards adding shadows and blush areas to the character. You also want to make sure that you keep the areas lighter that should be highlighted because it's a very hard to add to go lighter with watercolor. You always want to start out at the lightest point and then go darker and build your layers that way. Okay, and then I'm adding blush here and shadows. Um, I wanted her to really, I wanted this image to be really summery, so um, the whole point of it is that she looks really annoyed because she's out in the heat and she's really sweaty, so later on I end up adding a lot of like glossiness to her face. <laughs> Um, and then I start out with her clothes, um, and I just do really quick flat pink shorts, and then I start putting in the base color for her hair. Um, I just use a really light watered down purple color, um, because I wanted it to be a very soft painting, uh, and then I'm going in with a slightly more saturated pigment of the same color. And once that is dry, I go in with colored pencils. Um, I could have added more detail with the watercolor, but I really like mixing my media a lot, so um, I wanted to put more shading with my pencils. So I added a little bit more blush and some eyeshadow on her face. Um, and then I'm going in and doing my outline with the colored pencils instead of with my black pen like usual. Um, I'm doing this because I wanted the whole drawing to be a bit softer than usual and outlining in color makes it a lot more vibrant and soft looking and I really like how it looks. So um, I made sure that I had a color slightly darker than each color I had in the drawing. Um, maybe two or three var variations of the colors. And I'm using Faber-Castell Polychromos colored pencils and some Prismacolors as well. So this painting is actually my first one in a, a few days, I think at least a week. Um, I've had an art block for a couple of days and I was really busy last week with catching up with packing orders and I had another a small event to table at here in Austin, so um, that took up a lot of time and energy. Uh, and so I took a few days. I, I spent one whole day trying to draw and coming up with nothing. It was horrible. So the next day I just spent it cleaning the apartment and going out to play Pokemon and eating good food. And I came back today and I just felt like drawing and it was pretty awesome. Alright, and for this part, I'm just doing the tattoos. 
I'm using a 2B graphite pencil and just adding in really quick doodle tattoos on her arms. Um, and then I quickly brush over those with water to give them um, a watercolory look and kind of set the graphite in. Um, and then I'm going in with my Uniball Signo white gel pen to add highlights on her hair and her face and make her look a lot glossier. And this is the finished drawing painting. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Please let me know if you want to see anything else. Um, and like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Thank you for watching. Bye guys!